how to get your first Airbnb property. Are you ready to make more on one property than most people make working a full-time job? Yes, Airbnbs are super profitable and there are so many websites besides Airbnb that you can put your properties on and make even more money. In this video, I'm gonna share with you all the secrets on how to get your first Airbnb, how to make a bunch of money on it, and how to even quit your job if you want to and do it full time. Let's go. Noel. Yeah, she can fix that. If you gotta get it done, no, you need to do it better. Well, she can fix that. Yeah, she can fix that. Investment to get back, trying to get a big stack. She can fix that. Let's fix that. I'm gonna share with you a quick and easy process on how to get real estate even if you have no real estate experience at all. I'm gonna share with you how to make three times what most people make with their rental properties. And I'm gonna share with you the big secret that I just learned on how to get $10,000 to do this. Airbnb is one of the biggest opportunities that exists in real estate right now. I'm sure you may heard of the website or the app called Airbnb. It's a peer-to-peer -peer platform. You can easily use it. This is where normal people, regular people take their own properties and they rent them out to other people looking for a place to stay. The company started, I believe, in like 2009 and it started with just air mattresses and that's where the name Airbnb came from. The owners were people in San Francisco and they realized that hotels were costing so much money and people were paying just for an air mattress in their property. Airbnb started where people would rent a room or a place inside of their home and it's grown to a platform where there are millions of people searching for condos, apartments, houses, trailers, and so many other different types of properties that you can stay in instead of staying in a hotel. Additionally, normal people that have real estate have been able to create entire businesses where they use platforms like Airbnb to market their properties to millions of people and get paid on a nightly basis instead of renting their properties out empty, unfurnished on a monthly basis. This has increased the income that you can make on a property almost tenfold in some cases. And I've been able to reduce the number of properties that I own by putting them on short-term rental websites because I make more money on one property than I used to make on three combined. The opportunity is amazing and Airbnb is just growing every single day. It's an awesome opportunity and I'm gonna share with you how you can get in on this. So let's talk about why you make more money on Airbnb and short-term rental sites than you do with long-term rentals. Let me quickly explain something to you. I've shared with you that I started investing from my parents' basement in 2008, 2009 after I lost everything. I learned how to do wholesaling, then I got into fixing and flipping, and then I had a portfolio of rental properties and I was able to quit my job. After I quit my job and I had about 40 some odd rental properties, I was able to cover my six figure income from working and I thought I had made it. Well, after I started teaching real estate and teaching people how to do wholesaling and fixing and flipping, I had an 18 year old student that changed my life by telling me about Airbnb. He explained to me, and at the time I lived in Dallas, Texas, that we could rent properties and put them on a site called Airbnb. He said, let's rent some properties in the Orlando area near Disney World and we could make a ton of money and all we had to do was rent them in our business's name and furnish them and put all the towels in, you know, the sheets on the bed and put some, you know, plates and stuff like that in the kitchen. He explained that we were gonna make three times what I make on my rental properties with these apartments. I was a little skeptical at first, but he was absolutely right and I was wrong to be skeptical. With just those few apartments that we got, we were making a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars per month in profit on each of those properties. And like I said, I think we have four or five at the time. Since then, I have completely changed my mindset and I have gone away from all of those empty, unfurnished long-term rentals to short-term rentals and I make way more money with less hassle, with less properties and making even more money. Let's think about that for a second. My long-term rentals, I would rent them out vacant and unfurnished. If the mortgage was say, for example, $1,000, I would rent them out for maybe $1,300 per month and I was making on average $300 per month profit on each of my rental properties. Once I went to the short-term rental model or the Airbnbs, I was making way more because instead of renting them out on a monthly basis, I was able to rent them out on a nightly basis at about $140 per night. So even if the properties weren't booked every single day of the month, which most of the time they weren't, 
we were able to make a really good profit even with just a 70% occupancy. So let's think about that. If you're renting your property for 20 days out of 30 days at $140 per day versus renting it out for just a $300 profit, you can just see the difference. Now, fast forward, I do this on a full-time basis. We have lots of short-term rental properties and I make tons of money with Airbnb. And that's why I'm saying this opportunity is like no other. So let me tell you how you can do it too. Whoa, I just shared a lot about Airbnb. Have you ever stayed in an Airbnb? I have some wonderful ones in the Orlando area, Dallas, Charlotte, Miami, and I do really well with them. But talk to me below in the comment section and let me know, let's have a conversation. Have you ever stayed in an Airbnb? What was your experience like? Would you like to host on Airbnb? Let's talk about it, comment below. Buying or leasing. So now that you are interested in Airbnb and you see the opportunity, should you buy or lease a property? Like I said, I owned rental properties, but I did transfer my portfolio over and start going from long-term rentals to short-term rentals. And it was actually a very easy process. I just had to wait till my leases ended with my tenants. And then I had to go in and furnish the properties and put them all together. In the beginning, I would manage my own Airbnbs, but then after a while, I would hire and contract out others to clean the properties and manage them for me. And it was very profitable even paying someone else to manage them for me. But you don't have to buy properties to get started. Airbnb, HomeAway, Vacation Rental by Owner, and these other short-term rental websites allow you to rent a property and still put it on their website. So long as you have permission from the owner, you are completely able to do this. It really depends on your county or your local guidelines. Some places do not allow Airbnb, but like I said, in the areas that I rent in, it is allowed and we make lots of money with them. I've been doing this even before I moved to Florida and I've made a ton of money with properties in Texas, Virginia, Florida, North Carolina, and many other states, even Connecticut. There are so many states that you can do this in and most of the time, and it will be so much more profitable than ever doing long-term rentals. But you need to decide, should you buy or lease? Like I said, in the beginning when I did Airbnb, I was leasing properties and again, had the permission from the landlord because I set up a business. I have an entire video where I teach you how to do that too. But in this case, if you don't want to rent a property and you're thinking, or you have a rental property that you want to change over to an Airbnb, this is the perfect time to do it. It's not very difficult to furnish the property and put it all together. And in many cases, you can even use credit cards, business credit cards, or lines of credit. And in some cases, you can go directly to furniture companies and they have two and three year financing on furniture where you don't even have to make any payments. It's really amazing on how easy it is to put these properties together and start making money before you even have to repay some of those loans. I've been able to even maintain a profit, even having to repay back some of those loans for the furniture and other furnishings for the property. And I'll tell you a big secret. Everything in the property does not have to be brand new. In so many cases, I have been able to use things from thrift stores, used furniture, and even furniture that I bought from other people to furnish my Airbnbs, and they look absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna put some pictures and photos of some of my Airbnbs just to show you how easy it really is. This is not difficult at all, and look how beautiful these properties are. Some of these properties make me over $500 per night. I love Airbnb, and to me, this is the best opportunity. If you can buy a property, you definitely want to because you also get the appreciation, the equity, and the extreme cash flow from Airbnb versus just doing a long-term rental property. It's amazing, you definitely gotta try it. So I have created this entire book that I'm gonna give you absolutely free on how to get your first Airbnb and make a ton of profits. Like I said, this business is growing and this is the new opportunity that you definitely need to do. If you're interested in real estate at all, you're definitely gonna wanna buy real estate and you're definitely going to want to do short-term rentals. Pick up my book, B&B Millionaire Secrets, absolutely free. Just go to Noelle's bnbsecrets.com. That's Noel, N-O-E-L-L-E with an S, B-N-B, secrets, S-E-C-R-E-T-S dot com. And get this book absolutely free. You just cover the shipping because I want to make sure that you have all of the resources, all of the tools, and all of the knowledge that you need to be successful. This is Noel to your success.